QuickBooks Online 2023 reports. Month two, save as PDF export to Excel and management reports. Get ready to start moving on up with QuickBooks Online 2023. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We started up in a prior presentation using the 30 day free trial. We also have opened the free QuickBooks Online sample company. If you want the two open at the same time, we suggest use it incognito or another browser. You can open incognito if using Google Chrome by selecting the three dots in the browser incognito window, type it into the search engine, QuickBooks Online Test Drive. We're using the sample company to compare the accounting view, the one Get Great Guitars is in, and the business view, the one the sample company is in. If you want to toggle between the two views, go to the cog up top and switch the view down below. Now we don't need to really open up the standard reports this time as we normally do every time because we set up our month end reports in a prior presentation and now we're just going to be practicing grouping those reports together. So I'm going to go to the reports on the left hand side. If you're in the business view, by the way, the report support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category further broken out by course each course then organized in a logical reasonable fashion making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a youtube page we also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Reports are located in the business overview and then the reports. And then we've got the standard tab and we've got the customized reports tab with the custom reports. Now, if you don't have anything in the custom reports, you can open just a standard balance sheet and income statement and follow along that way. But we made some custom reports last time and our goal here is just to see how we might group these custom reports now that we've entered some data into the system so that we can generate them and provide them to management or to, I'm thinking most likely in our scenario, we're a bookkeeper providing to a client. So we might save the reports that are formatted in such a way that we want to give them to the client. We might save them as month end reports, for example. We might have another category that we might save as, say, uh, year end reports or quarter end reports, which might have a slightly different grouping of reports, in particular with those reports, as we saw before, that are the comparative reports, because you could have a whole lot of comparative reports once you have multiple quarters, this quarter versus last quarter, this month versus last month, three months of data, three quarters of data versus two quarters of data, comparative reports, and so on and so forth. So you got to decide which reports you're going to want to give and then give them in some kind of order to the client. So we've numbered our reports here to go from hopefully the easier reports, a summary balance sheet, and then a standard balance sheet, a summary income statement, and then a standard income statement. I'm not saying this is the, the way that you should do it for sure. I'm just saying that then the next thing you need to do is try to say what order do you want to be putting uh, your reports in? And then the question is how do you provide them uh, to a client? Now let's first give a quick recap on how we saved some of these reports. So if I was to open up say the balance sheet summary, for example, we basically just opened up a standard balance sheet summary report, and then we made some adjustments to it. If I go to the uh, customize up top, we did the customizations of negative numbers. We removed the pennies, we made the negative numbers red, and we removed the date time report basis. And then closing this out, we saved the customization under a report group. We can create the report groups here of month end reports. So that's how we got all the reports there. Notice I got this nice back thing that takes us back to our report list, which is nice. So now we have them here. The next step is how are we going to give them to a client? I could open each of them up and email them one at a time, but that's probably not the nicest way to give them because you're going to give multiple emails. Typically we could print them, but that's not as useful these days, oftentimes, because it's going to be some type of electronic providing. We could print them as a PDF and then attach them all to one email, but that's still a little bit tedious because you're going to have a lot of different uh, attachments. 
We can zip them so that we have one attachment, which is a little bit nicer. We can put them into a cloud drive and give that access to in like a Dropbox or a OneDrive to our client, which is a nice way to go oftentimes if you can have a nice secure uh, cloud drive. We can also group them in an Excel file and use Excel and possibly PDF to give them more customized reports and use them to make one PDF with all the reports. We'll do that here. Uh, or we can use the report manager tool. So if I go back to the to our reports, we've got this management tool, which is a little bit restrictive in its nature, but it gives you a nice way to put everything in one like little report structure as well, getting all your reports in one area. So let's just do this. Let's do this a couple different ways. Now I'm going to just open this up. Now I've got to change the range from 010123 to 022823. And then I'm simply going to run the report and then I'm going to uh, export it as a PDF, hitting the drop down and export to a PDF. The formatting's already set up, so it's a fairly straightforward process to do. I'm just gonna pull that into my folder here that I have set up. And if I'm in Google Chrome, it shows up down below, so I can just grab it and pull it. Then I'm also gonna number these forms in alignment with the number that I had in my saved reports, right-clicking and renaming to number it so that when I give this to a client, I give some indication of which reports to open first as opposed to just alphabetical order, which could be a little bit nicer if you're giving them like a cloud drive. I have this back button so I can go back to the prior report, open up the next one, number two report, change the range up top. I'm going to go from 010123 to 022823, run it. It's all formatted for us. So then I can just basically I uh, say I want to export it, boom, export to a PDF, save as a PDF. I'm gonna pull that into my folder again, just pull it into my folder. This is gonna be the number two report, right click on it, rename it. I'm gonna say number two, boom, and then close that up, back to the reports, opening up the number three report and then change the range going from 010123 to 022823 run it on the income statement so that looks good i'm going to say let's go ahead and export to the pdf boom and then pull it into my pdf here into my folder right click rename number three report number three and then close this up. I know this is tedious, but it's easier than it would be if we had to regenerate every report is my point. That's the point I'm trying to make. So I'm gonna change the range from 010123 to 022823, run it. And then we're gonna say boom, P to the D to the F, save it. And then we'll pull it on over into our reports, bam. And then rename it, right click, rename number four number four close it up back to the reports was that number four yeah it was number four now i'm on number five comparative income statement hopefully i got them all in there this is going to be 010123 to 022823 now this one's a little bit tricky because you would think that that would that would be the range but here because it's a comparative report i've got to run it just for the second month which is 020123. So it can compare to the prior month. So it's a little bit tricky, a little bit wonky there. So I'm gonna say hit the drop down, export it to a PDF, and save it, and then pull it on over. Pull it on over. And we're gonna say right click, rename it, rename, and number five. And then one more time, uno vase mas por favor, I think. And then we're gonna go number six. And this is the same thing because it's a comparative. So I'm gonna go from 020123 to 022823, run it. And so I think, so February versus January. Notice you gotta be a little bit careful about this range here. So I changed it a little bit to make sure it's and I made a custom range for January so that it picks up the full month since there's a difference in the number of days in February and January. So in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and export it to a PDF, save it, and then open up 
our report here and drag it in and that's number six so i can right click and that's going to be number six now i can give them oh man oh man right click rename number six now i could give this report to someone on a cloud drive or i could go back to the prior folder and just uh right well, let's go into it again let's right click and make another folder or i could just say new 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 folder i'm still not used to their this is gonna re reports month two i should probably say february reports and then i can just copy those and put them into that one and then right click and zip it so zip it and so your zip folder might not look like that but the point is that you could then add the zipped file to your your email so that so now you can email with one zipped file with all the reports that are numbered in the zipped file so that's one method we could use another method we could use and i won't go into this in detail is you could use the management report and we adjusted our management report here and i can then go and edit the management report and it's got a nice title page it's got a table of contents it's got a, a an intro page and then it's got your reports now these are the reports we did from month one but you can add more reports uh down here by saying add new report and i can say i want to say that we need number five report and then i'm going to add number six report boom and then I'm going to edit the report, edit, and get rid of the get rid of the location of the report. So I'm just going to delete everything before the report name, and so that looks good. And then I'll do the same for this one as well. Tom B N, Tom B N, Tom B N, Tom B N. And so there's that. Okay. And then if I go down, we've got our, our closing report or name, and then I can save that. And let's, let's check it out. Uh, set, we'll save and close it here. And then I'm going to go into my report and preview it. And so now it looks like this. So you get this nice little pre-built management report, pretty, pretty nice although it's somewhat restricted. So you, you can't do much more to the formatting that it has here, but it's a nice way to get all the reports on one PDF file and, and do it in a way that's pretty nice. If you wanna do any more customization than that, then the other way you can do is export them to Excel and use Excel to put them all on one PDF file. So that's what we'll do now one more time. I know this is getting tedious. I'm gonna go into the balance sheet. <laughs> Let's do this again. This is gonna go from 0101 Two, three to 022823 let's run it and then i'm just gonna export it to a excel file and use excel this time i'll drag that into my worksheet over here i'll drag that into my worksheet boom drag it took the thing by its by its hair and just dragged it into my excel <laughs> worksheet i'm gonna right click and rename it and this is going to be reports month month two i'm going to say and then i'll open that up and just and now i can do some added formatting if i wanted to do any added formatting outside of what i can do in quickbooks i won't go into too much detail but i'm just going to say let's go to this side this side there's the end of the report so i might make this large enough so it fits on one page like that or something and then I'm just gonna do some standard editing just so you can see like some quick editing you might do. You might make this tab a little smaller. You might put some underlines here like this way. You might say, I want the, these underlines like that. And then maybe, maybe you want a double underline under this one, like a double underline there. And then maybe I want like brackets around this thing, maybe brackets. So there's some standard formatting that looks a little bit different than what other people might be doing. You can make this a little bit larger so it fits on one page wide. And then maybe I make the header different. So I'm not an expert on formatting and you might make the text a little different, but you can do a lot of stuff that you can't really do 
uh, in QuickBooks that can just some little tweaks that you'd have to do every time, but I can it can make it a little bit more customized. So just to give you an example. So I'm gonna go back up top and then let's do this one by one again, the balance sheet. And let's say this is gonna go from 010123, 010123 to 022823, run it and then export it to Excel. This time I'm just gonna open it and then copy it over. I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna copy it over. I'm gonna just go boom, put my cursor in the triangle, control C or right click and copy. And then I'm gonna go into this one and add a new tab and I'm just gonna double click on the tab, call it a balance sheet BS, put it in B1 or select the whole sheet, right click and paste it. Then I'm gonna go to the layout and back to the first tab so I could see what happened. S holding control down, scrolling up, and I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna make this wide enough so it fits there. I'll make this one a little bit thinner. I'm gonna make all of these with an underline, have like this kind of underline. And then and then these ones, I wanna have them have like, like a double underline. I want those to have like a double underline like that. Boom. And this one, did these put an underline? I didn't do it on the bottom half. This one, 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 this one needs a normal underline. And then I can select the whole thing. I put some grid lines on the whole thing. Needs some grid lines. Boom. And then I can make the top header like black and white. Do some fancy shamancy. And then when I print this, I can go to the first tab and I can print and I can use my cute PDF printer and then print all the reports on one worksheet. So now it looks a little bit different formatting, but you've got more formatting options. You can, al you can also add text and whatnot in Excel or combine it to Word, you know, to do a more formalized uh, report or customized report, if you so choose. Let's do number three. Keep on going with this process. We're going to go from 010123 to 022823. Run it and then let's export it. Export, open it, and we'll just com continue the process with an income statement report this time. Closing or enabling, selecting the entire sheet, right click and copy, going back on over, adding another tab, double clicking on the tab to below, income statement summary. These names don't really matter too much because you're not gonna give this to the client. We're gonna make a PDF out of it. Putting my cursor in A1 or selecting the whole sheet and pasting it. Checking the, the layout to the right, back to the left. Widening up, let's holding control, scrolling up to make it a little bit larger. Widening up column A so, it, so it's like as wide as the page, let's say. Let's make this one a little less wide. Let's put, I'm gonna select, I'm holding down control to select everything that has an underline on it. And I'm going to make this kind of underline. And then on the bottom line, I like to have a double underline. And then I'm going to select the whole thing and put some grid lines around it, grid lines round, and then make the header black and white. Boom. All right. Done with that one. Let's go back to the next one. This is the income statement report. Two more to go. And then we have to stop this good times. The good times have to stop sometime, you know. Good times can't go on forever, but they'll be back at some point. And then we're gonna go to the triangle and right click and copy. And then back here, we're gonna say plus button. This is gonna be just a normal income statement, selecting the whole thing, control paste, bam, holding control, scrolling up a bit tab to the right or the layout back and then i'm going to expand this one again so it fits and make that one smaller and then i'm going to do the same thing here selecting all the lines that have an underline and i'm going to make the underlined lines look like that double underline here selecting the whole thing and put some grid lineies 
and then we'll do the black and white up top boom all right and then let's do it again two more times dose vases this is the tricky one i have to do for february it's already pulling up though it's doing it right so let's just say that's good and then i'm gonna export it to excel open it up and check it out and then we'll do our formatting enable the editing triangle control c back to the other report plus this is a what is this i don't even know i'm going to paste it first it's a comparative balance sheet so it's a bs comparative report holding control scrolling up a bit view to the right view to the left this one's too long this time so i'm going to have to make this a little bit skinnier this time skinnerize skinnerize i'm going to get rid of this row altogether you're not needed delete and then again i can select this 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 and do this kind of underline and then maybe i'm going to select this and the total assets this and do double something like that and why does it have a double total fit oh i messed up this double i don't want the double there i want it there that's what that's right anyway something like that i'm just I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them just just for example a sample and then we'll do the black and white up top black and white and then one more time one more time make sure to savor this last one because this is the last one you don't want to then we have to stop good times have to stop sometimes at some time so we'll open this one up and we'll try to enjoy it as best we can get all the excel-y goodness from it we're going to put our cursor in uh, the top right click and copy and then bring that back on over plus button double click income statement comparative comparative put our cursor on the triangle and paste it and then i'm going to go to the tab to the right tab to the left hold control scroll up a bit i'm going to make this one a little bit wider till it fits on one page wide get rid of this column because i don't like it delete a row that's a row you need to know the difference between rows and columns whatever you know what i was talking about and so then i'm going to say this is going to be an underline and then this needs to be a double underline i'm going to put some brackets around it so everything's in its own box you have to know exactly what box the thing is in how do you, can you tell if there's no lines around it? People can go outside of their box. Okay, so now we can print this. I can go to the file tab and then we can print it. And we're gonna use the cute PDF printer, it's free. I'm not advertising for them or anything, but that's what I use. You could find it if you search for it on a web search. We're gonna use the entire page. This is what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna print it, not to a printer, but to the PTF, PDF. And then it's gonna say, there it is. We wanna put it in the month, second month, and boom. So given the reports to peeps now, means that we can go in here and we, we can give them the reports one at a time, give them access to a cloud drive. We can use that management report tool. We can attach this to an email, or we can give them just this one report, which is a little bit more customizable than that management report thing. I know it's, it looks a little bit different. You know, I'm not saying this is the best formatting. I'm just saying this is an example of something that, that you could do. And it could, if you're good at it, you know, allow you to, 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 to stand out a little bit because most people will not take the time to do stuff like, like change the fonts a little bit by exporting it to Excel or something like that. And so a little bit of that goes, goes a long way if you're skilled at it 